How's it going, everyone? My name is Lionel, and welcome to Bug Dates. This is a dating simulator with bugs. Cute bugs. And I'm just hoping I get them off, because we all love a little bit of moth action. Let's get right into it. Warning, cursing, mildly suggestive content, death, mentions of parental verbal abuse, loud sudden noises, slight gore, um, C and B jokes. If you wish to continue... Yeah, I'll continue. Welcome to Buck Dates. Before we begin, please tell us a little bit about yourself. What is your name? My name is Lionel. All right. And what are your pronouns? I go by he, him, I guess. Your name is Lionel and your pronouns are he, him, his? Wait, actually, you know what? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna go back, all right? I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put in my freaking, I'm gonna put in my freaking pronouns, all right? Lionel, and uh, what are your pronouns? Okay, let's see. Captain went to the store. I spoke to Captain today. Okay, uh, Captain's cat is very cute. Which conjugation of to be should be used? I.e., they are or she is. Um, uh, Captain is, uh, is, was. Your name is Lionel, and your pronouns are Captain, Captain, Captains. Yes! Yes! Excellent! Now let's get started! Yes! Man, you are boring. Look at you, 25. Ow! Oh, no lover in sight! That's just sad. However, lucky for you, this exists. Ring ring! Your best friend of me, 5, is calling you. You two share a unique love and hate relationship, but you both meanwhile. Sorta. What do you want, 5? Come on. You don't have to be so sh sour to your only best friend, do you? Just tell me what it is this time. Come on, Debbie Downer. Since you're still, well, single, how about joining a dating show? I've heard they're looking for new contestants. They'll bring some spice into... No, not happening. I enjoy being single. Sorta. Too bad, I signed you up already. I'm sorry, what? You did what now? Never gonna let me finish, are you? You paused as you heard a sigh come from the other side of the phone. Before I was rudely interrupted, I was gonna add that there's only a 1 out of 50 chance you'll actually get picked. But if it'll make you feel any better, I signed up as well. Nah, good night. You end the call abruptly and put the phone to your nightstand. She scoffed, hearing the beep signaling that the call ended. Fast forward a couple of weeks. You were ma watching a movie at home when you suddenly felt your phone buzzing. An email notification pops up. Good day. This is from Buggy Lovers for You, the new dating show for those finding buggy love. We are pleased to inform you that out of a hundred participants, you have been chosen to join. Congratulations. Please see the details below. For more info, head over to our website. We hope to see you there. Great. Just great. You turn off the movie and head to bed. The sooner tomorrow starts, the sooner it will end. The next day, you and Five meet up at the cafe you two usually go to, and you have your usual orders. You have iced coffee, and she bought a latte. After sitting down for the drinks, Five begins to discuss the plans for later that night. So, I heard you got pit. Five is a ladybug! That's adorable! Uh-huh. You don't say. Okay, my bad. Maybe I should have asked first before signing you up, but in my defense, this will be a fun experience. Sure, sure, whatever. I have to go to work now. Don't bother me. You pick up your drink, making five rolls of your eyes and scoff playfully. Without saying another word, you leave and head off to work. Later. Ah, yes, finally at CNBT Inc., where the game show takes place. Uh... Oh my god! It's the Moth Boy! Ah, uh, uh, hello, hello, welcome to CMBT Inc. I'm Bob, the host for this wonderful evening. Please head over to our waiting room for the meantime. I'll call you for once you are ready, okay. Are you telling me I can't date Moth Boy? No! A team member motions for you to a room labeled waiting room. He escorts you and opens the door to reveal a lot of interesting people. You sit down on the sofa. Around the room, you see a roach, a spider, a scorpion, an ant, and a fly, all of whom were chatting and getting acquainted. Not long after sitting down, you were approached by the roach. 
I've never seen a roach so cute before. Oh my god. Hello, hello! How are you? Oh, so fine person I've never met in my life. You look amazing! Can I tell you how cool your shoes look? They look cool! I... Oh, gosh. Um... If you're gonna talk that much, then at least... They... No, I'm not gonna be rude. Uh, hello! Well, you sure are nice, aren't you? Well, I guess I have to... I guess I have to introduce myself to you. I'm Ace. You're your loyal roach boy around these parts. Nice to be acquainted with you. You can tell that he's very energetic. Unfortunately for him, you hate loud things, so this was gonna be an experience, to say the least. Nice to meet you. I'm Lionel. Can I ask why you're here? Ah, no. Can you? Um, nice one. <laughs> hey, glad to see you like my dumb jokes. Anyway, well, I got bored. What can I say? One of the staff from my place saw me at the bar sulking, and then boom! I get an email, and now I'm here! So I'm guessing most people came here out of boredom. Yeah, nah, only I did. Oh, and also that green-haired chick. But uh, besides that, I'm not sure. But hey, who am I to talk? Hey. Anyway, how's your evening been? Well, I was gonna go to bed and work again tomorrow, but a few weeks ago, my dumb friend signed me up for this. Ah, damn. Hey, don't act as if you didn't want to. Come on, you must be really lonely, because, like... Who likes us? The half-breeds. You know how this world is to us. They hate us. Ah, <sighs> so like, if I were your friend, I would have signed you up as well to feel better about yourself and perhaps find a lover? Ah, uh, yeah. I guess that's a good way to look at it. Well... Hey, that's the spirit! I like to see it! Okay now, love. If you need me, I'll be at the snack table. He swiftly walks away from you to go over to the snack table. Now, actually scanning the room properly, you see a beautiful spider lady in a red suit talking to what you assume to be a fly. Over at the snack table is an ant with a striking blue hair standing next to Ace. You turn to your left and see a scorpion half-breed listening to music. Your eyes became locked with her hand, well, pincer. It was quite the sight, as most people have either a full insect body or some resemblance to features of an insect. Seeing a pincer was quite new to you. So it was quite common for people to change how their body looks whenever they want, with enough practice at least. Now that you look at a little closer, that's Green Blair, a really famous singer from the band Sock, Sock, and now she caught you staring her. And Blair is cute. Blair is cute. Oh no, you good? Uh, my bad. I I didn't mean to stare. Blair is cute. No, you're good. It's the hand, right? Perhaps. Yeah. Oh my god, that tail. Oh my god. I, I want that tail to wrap around me. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's fine. I get it a lot. Blair seems to be thinking of something as she opened her mouth to speak up again. Just yesterday, actually, a kid straight up asked me why my arm was like this. Boy, when I tell you, his mom got real mad. It happens a lot. But it's alright, really. I see. I'm sorry still. It was rude after all. But hey, aren't you Blair from Sock? So you notice? You a fan of something? Want me to sign an autograph? No, no, it's just that my brother really likes your band. Huh, actually, yeah, could you sign my notebook and take a picture of me so I can rub it in his face? You want to make him jealous? Blair thinks for a moment before turning to face you with a grin and snickers. Sure, I'm totally down if it's for a reason like that. The two of you smile as you held up your phone camera to take a picture. You saved the picture in your camera roll. Your brother is going to love this. Oh my god. Oh, I freaking love Blair. Yo, oh, and uh, may I ask why you're here? I was bored. That's uh, that's it? Yeah, pretty much. Life as a rock star isn't as nice as you think. You wouldn't believe how boring it can really get. Pick up, people! The show is gonna start in 25 minutes! Here are your mics! You're definitely gonna need them! Can't people be more quiet? He's just as loud as that roach, Zian said under his breath. He wasn't wrong, though. Ace was kinda loud. Oh well, that's kinda sad. Well, I guess we should get going now. I'll see you on stage. And with that, you and Blair stand up from your spots and follow the rest of the contestants backstage. While walking to the stage, you get poked in the eye by one of the spider's legs. Ow! Hey! Which way are you going, would you? Oh, I'm sorry. Does it hurt? You okay? Mommy spider. Mommy spider. Uh. Uh, let's... I, I, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Mommy spider. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that you were behind me and you're kind of, well, shorter than me, so I didn't notice. And you were just in my blind spot. Dummy uh, spider. Okay, and here are your seats. They are color-coded based on the color note you got. 
since you're the main guest, you got gray, just like you. Boring. Ladies and gents, and noblemen of the court, I'm your host, Bob, and for today's show, we have some very special contestants. Now, please, introduce yourselves, contestants. Hello, I'm Ace Roach, I steal balls, uh, and I work in freelance, BJ. How energetic, sir. We love to see it. The host turns to a blue-headed man with a single nod, silently waiting for him to present himself formally. Good evening, I'm Ant, third son of the Formicides. Ooh, one of the high ranks. Good to see. I'm, uh, Kale. I'm from France. It's nice to be acquainted with you, sir. Out of the state. I like it. Hello. Nice to be here today. I'm Zaya. I'm a single mother of two beautiful girls. Literal spider mommy! Hard working. Lucky for the person who picks you. Hello, dearie. It's a pleasure to meet you here today. I'm most commonly known as Green Bee on stage, but you can call me Blair. Just don't call me late for dinner. Very nice to have a renowned rock star in our building this week too. With that, we have our bachelors. Now on to you, the main event. Hello, I'm Lionel. I'm here because my friend, you I-5 in the audience, watching you as she gives you a small wave of her hand. Make that my ex-friend force me to join. <laughs> you see E5 roll her eyes at your comment, laughing a bit to herself. Ouch, that stinks. But now, with that, the night is young. Let the show begin. So first, I shall explain the rules, yeah? The host looks around at the audience with a smile, making sure that he has everyone's attention. I will ask a few questions, and each of our contestants will answer. Whoever answers Lionel is drawn to the most will be the one and only for captain. The ones who miss out have the option to come back and have another try at finding their buggy love, if they so choose. It's up to them, after all. Now, let the games begin! As the host finishes explaining the rules, he ponders for a bit, thinking of a question to ask the bugs. Let me think. Hmm. Ah! What will motivate you to work harder? We gotta know about that driving force. Gotta see if you have what it takes, you know? Fair point! They could be a drug dealer for all we know. Wait, bug god! Ace? Say, what motivates you either in a relationship or just in general? Uh, well, I guess that just depends on if I have a goal in mind. I'd do anything to reach that goal, but if I don't have one, then nothing else motivates me. I see. Nothing at all? Nah, not at all. I don't like wasting my time with certain stuff like maths. Uh, okay, Ace is not on my list of bachelors to date. Uh, huh. Alright, uh, sir, for Miss, uh... Please, just call me Ant. It's easier. Ah, yes. My apologies, sir. And sighs after throwing a look at the host. He fixes his cuffs and speaks up again. I'm in a relationship, or just in general. Both are fueled by self-benefit. For my own personal gain, I know that sounds stuck up, but let me explain. Yes, it is... It... Sounds sort of like that. Well, in a relationship, the thing I gain are reciprocated feelings, love and kindness, in short, affection. I see, that's different from what I expected, but sure. The host shakes his head slightly, then faces the fly expectantly. Your turn to answer, my French friend. I, um, I guess it would be the same with Ant in a way. Oh? Yeah, in general it's different, but in a relationship it's the same. Their love for me and my love for them feels the relationship. Ah, uh, my scrunkly little fly. I see. Okay then, Zaya. Ah, <sighs> I know. I'm not quite sure. There's so many possibilities, but if I had to say one thing, it would be making something last and seeing it through to the end. Like, what I can do along the way, making the people and others around me happy. I see. So you're for the long term. Blair, your answer? Nah, uh, really depends on the situation. If it's in a relationship, it's seeing the other person again and bonding with them. If it's in general, that's hard, personally. Probably the same with my relationship motivation. We've heard some very interesting answers this evening, haven't we? The host now turns to face you. How about you then? Is there anyone in particular you agree with the most? Oh gosh. Oh god. Uh, I'm I'm either gonna go with Zaya or Blair, honestly. Uh, hell, I like Blair's one a lot. The bonds we share. Are, uh, uh, God damn it! I have a weakness for mummy spider. Ah! 
Zaya, your mom, right? You want to see your kids happy, yeah? Of course I do. They're my children, after all. So in a sense, it's like that maternal instinct to see the people you love happy. Yeah, in a way. The smile on their face when I do something for them makes me feel kind of... joy out of it. With that out of the way, it's on to our next question. If your partner crossed one of your boundaries, how would you react? Ace, you're up first again. Nah, hard question, I guess. I know, to be honest. I don't really have boundaries, you know? Like, I do, but also don't? Would you like to elaborate further? Like, I would of course tell him I'm uncomfy with it, sure, but it takes a damn good while before I actually, you know, tell tell them stuff. Uh, it takes a while before you actually respond. You need time to think before you actually say how you feel. Yeah, pretty much, I guess. I don't know, man. I'm confused half the time. I wouldn't know. He shrugs his shoulders, staring up at nothing in particular. I don't really like how nonchalant he is about things. And, your thoughts on this? I won't have made it clear at the start what made me uncomfortable and what didn't in order to avoid the situation altogether. Why do I have a feeling that Ant is a dom? <laughs> if they forget at first, I can let it slide. But if it happens multiple times, then I would have to talk to them about it. So you like to be upfront about your feelings, correct? Not necessarily, but that's one way of putting it. Could he either be a dom or a sub, honestly? Bob nods his head as he turns over to Kale. Kale? I would try as hard as I could not to cross any of their boundaries, since I meant your boundaries, not theirs, if they cross them. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I didn't hear it correctly. I myself don't know much about healthy boundaries. But I'd say that you need to listen to yourself. Don't listen to people who say you're selfish if you feel like this is important to you. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes it's nothing. Wow, you say you don't know much about this, but that's some pretty damn good advice. I guess it is, isn't it? Kale smiles to himself slightly, seeing that his answer was quite acceptable. Kale got some pretty good answers, not gonna lie. I'm happy with how this is playing out. Same here, seriously. It's it's great that they're having conversations about boundaries in this. I know, this might be a new show, but all the people who've come and gone have been pretty satisfied by what happened. So we do the same for all of you lovely people. Now, continuing on, Zaya. Uh, of course, I wouldn't want there to be any problems between us, so I think it's best to do like how Ant said. This piques Ant's interest and he looks in Zaya's direction. Set it up from the start. I don't think that either of us would want to be forced into something we don't want, just because the other liked it. Even if it would make the other happy, I don't think it's worth it. True, that's a valid point. You've been in a relationship before, so you would know quite a bit, right? Zaya nods her head at Bob. You catch a glimpse of one of her spider legs and some of her eyes twitching, but think nothing of it. Aww, she's traumatized. It's very cool. Blair, how would you react? Boundaries are really important for a good relationship, so if my SO had crossed a boundary of mine, I would probably tell him firmly what they had done, so nothing like angrily, just a firm reminder that it isn't okay with me, you know? I see. Being firm about it would get the point across. Yeah, something like that. Very nice answers we're getting today, huh, folks? Very sentimental, you could say. Oops, would you look at the time, though? We'll be right back with all of you lovely people. But first, here's a segment from our sponsors. And with that, it's break time. Bob comes over to everyone with a happy look on his face. So, we're gonna have a 10-minute break. After that, we go back to a few more questions. And you? I will say, it has been quite the night, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm glad I could help with that. And with that, Bob walks off. He head backstage to get a drink, but bump into a rather short fly. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make your water spill on your shirt. Uh, here, I have this napkin. You quickly hand over your handkerchief to him. Yeah, thank you for the towel. My shirt is a little wet now, but it's fine. I don't think it actually matters that much. I really do apologize. Really, I... It's fine, really. It was an honest mistake. I'll, uh, I'll go now. You know, Kale is so cute. Kale quickly makes his way out of the room. I guess he's just really shy. Ah, yes, folks. Here we have it. The time you've all been waiting for. Who's that bug? Where our lovely guest Lionel is going to pick the buggy companion of Captain's dreams. You look over at the others as they wait for your decision. So, Lionel, which buggy companion has piqued your interest thus far? I would say... Honestly, I'm going to go with Zaya. I'm going to go with freaking Zaya because Mommy Spider. Mommy Spider, everyone. Zaya seems like the type to treat her partner as well. And I think that maybe getting to know her kids might not be that bad. They're really nice kids. And I bet they would like to meet you too. And with that, our contestants have spoken. 
we thank everyone that has participated in this little game of ours. And we do so hope to all that didn't get picked that you'll come back another time for another try at finding your own buggy lover. And with that, the game ended. Everyone packed and went home, and so did you. The next day. So, looks like everything turned out well, didn't it? Yeah, I guess, you know, maybe I was wrong and this was a good thing. Thanks for signing me up for this. You can see Five's face light up with a smile as she looks over at you. A bit of a smug grin mixed into said smile. I told you so, and I was right. It's a good experience, and at least if it doesn't work out, you get a stupid story out of it. And with that, you and Five get to talk about the most randomest of stuff that could pop into your minds. Two weeks later. Okay, this seems like a real good fit, right? You look to see Five staring back at you as you check yourself out in the mirror. Yeah, this thing looks great on you. Simple yet nice. Okay then, I'll be heading off for now, so you can stay here if you want. Sure, sure. See you later. And you left, pretty much allowing Five full access to your house yet again. You commute to the park Zaya talked about. It's a little far from the city, and you didn't know why Zaya wanted to have a forest park date. Like, what can you even do there? You arrive at the entrance and notice couples biking around or casually taking a stroll. But strangely enough, there weren't that many people, maybe because it's a weekday. You looked at your phone for the time, and Zaya was running late. Lionel! Oh my god, you look gorgeous. You see Zaya waving and running towards you, and you wave back. Oh my gosh, am I late? Zaya asked, panting. Don't worry, I just arrived. You smile, but you've been waiting for so long. Zaya smiles warmly at you. Ah, phew, that's good. I thought you would be waiting for a long time. Zaya holds your hand. We're holding hands! Let's go in! She said, smiling brightly at you. Ah, you both walk and enjoy the breeze. So, why did you join this dating show? Zaya gave you a warm smile. Well, one of my co-workers said that maybe I could find someone new to help with the kids, and, well, I gave it some thought. It's been 12 years since I had a lover and someone to care for them, so I joined. Spitz, though, was very against it. Ah, huh. let's see. I get what you mean, but won't your kids get awkward with some random stranger parenting them? Ah. <sighs> Zaya smiles at you delightfully. Well, thank you for thinking about what my children are going to think. But I don't think my kids will be awkward with someone nice and thoughtful. Someone like, uh, you? Zaya giggles. Just an example, though. Me? Nice? We've only just started this date and you're already complimenting me? Well, I mean, you are as of now, so yes, you deserve a compliment. Listening to the rustle of the leaves and branches above you, both continue walking in silence. So anyway, what can we do in this park? Ooh, we could rent a couple of bikes or rollerblades. I don't know how to use rollerblades, but I'm pretty good at biking, though. Oh, there's a big lake in the middle of the park. We can row some boats and feed the ducks. There's a lot we can do. We can also stroll and talk about stuff. We can just st stroll around first, so we can get to know each other a little more. Zia smiles at you. Sure, why not? Enjoying the scenery. You try to break the silence, but Zia beats you to it. Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, what's up? How... How do you get closer to someone? Someone who's important to you? Someone that plays a big role in your life and means the world to you? Oh, well, maybe spend more time with them? You know, take some time off and rekindle. Maybe. What is this about, anyway? If you don't mind me asking, though. Zaya sadly smiles at you. You know how I said that I have two children? Well, since I'm a single mom, I need to keep working to support them both. But because of that, I drift apart from my kids. Oh... Wow, you aren't always going to be at work. So why did you drift apart? You have a days off to spend with them, so why didn't you? Zaya looks at you. Days off? I rarely get those, but anytime I do get a break, they barely want to spend any time with me. Mostly Spitz, and since she takes care of Spit, Spit usually follows whatever Spitz does, which is ignoring me and staying in their room. I see. Well, maybe you should have spent more time with them, and then, you know, work. Have you tried apologizing? Maybe a heart-to-heart -heart conversation would work better. Yeah, maybe it would. Huh. So you take some time to think before speaking up again. I see. Thank you. I'll try it. I'm not so sure if it would work, but I'll try. That's the spirit. Just what I wanted to hear. You spot a clearing area nearby and think it would be a nice spot to talk some more without being bothered. Huh? What is it? The clearing? Yeah. Want to go there? For, um, you know, more privacy. Sure. Plus, it looks nice. We walked over to the set spot. Zaya says, 
Come, come, Lionel. Zaya says as she is pulling you towards the clearing. I know this is our first date, but I already want you to meet the kids. I really believe you can help me fix my relationship with them, and knowing you're with me will give them the courage to keep pushing through. What do you say? Will you go on a second date with me, but this time with my kids? Of course. Zaya, who was now bright red, caught you by surprise. You could tell it would mean the world to her if you said yes, and of course you did. Enthusiastically nodding, you hug her. I left nothing more than to be a part of it. Just like deja vu, Zaya is pulling you towards the same park where you had your first date. As you approach, you can see the sight of two kids who are busy settling food down on the picnic table. Oh, sweet! Once they spotted you, they wave happily with big grins on their faces. Ah! Oh, sweet! Oh, God! Oh, I love this so much. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to play this for yourself, then the game is in the description below. And if you want another part of this, hey, um, why don't you check out Espoir de Vid's, uh playthrough of this. Uh, if it's out already, there would be a thing up there. So yeah, um, she goes through she goes through one of the other bugs uh, ending. So you should definitely check her out. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have a lovely rest of the day. And I will see you in the very near future. This is Lionel, signing out. Ciao.